So black canvas and black gesso dried, and then we're going to apply some liquid clear. Very thin coat of the liquid clear. Okay, phthalo green, phthalo blue, Elizabeth crimson, some purple or violet, whatever, and some white. Phthalo green. Here we go, let's go somewhere down here. I'm going to put a nice bit of green around here. A phthalo blue, let's go around here. When we start adding the white on, which won't be long, magical things happen. And I'm just gonna pull this phthalo blue in a little bit into that green. Let's go into a little bit of violet, very okay, just a small bit. And we're gonna go around here. We're gonna carry on down here with that for reflections if I have water. So some alizarin crimson going on. And let's go somewhere here. I'll do something like that. Let's do the same down here. Right into the violet, okay? Right, well, that's some violet going on up there. Right, there we go, we've got, we got all them colours on. Blend them colours together. I'm thinking of a little moon that lives up here. I'm just gonna do like a little back thing first. This is gonna be like a sort of in the Violet and sort of crimson area, okay. This is where the moon's gonna be. I'm feeling some sort of clouds and stuff as well. Just gonna do a little bright spot here. I'll go over that again, just a little bright spot in there. There we go, we can go here and just do a little finger moon, hopefully. Do this in circle motions. We're gonna change so much up into this colour. Let's blend. I'm gonna start somewhere in here and we're gonna blend this out. Should get a nice sort of misty effect. Staying in the green first, work work our way out. Here we go. Keep going. Beautiful. That's mixing with all that liquid clear underneath, all them different colours. Just creating all them beautiful little things. Gently go over that. I know. I can bring ones in front of this as well, so we're just blending out the bottom here first. Just fluff these out. Very gently. We can have that coming right down there. This is the horizon line. I'm just going to come straight down. Just pull this colour all the way down. Just do the whole lot. Because that means I can just have water wherever I want to and I can paint over the water that I don't want. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to turn this into some kind of watery effect. Pull that really hard down there. All them beautiful colours. And this will give us a water effect and we can come back and add some water lines on. So I'm just literally going to go across here in a straight line. And look at that. I think it always helps if you do it nice and fast in a straight line. And that's quite a watery effect. But the crimson, the purple, yeah, nick that. Some of this blue, don't need all that. Some of the green. Just nick all of that colour. Put that in a little pile. Well, this is black and that colour together, okay? Some of that colour. Some of this white. And make a lighter colour over here. Of that colour. This is going to be some background stuff. I'm going to lay some land around here. I'm going to close this in to about there. I'm going to have it coming down here. 
and then we're putting some lighter colours on top, the darks there for some shading and that kind of stuff. Things you put in, the more the distance maybe, like this. Let's bring this one around so it just sort of goes down there. I'm going to push up on the fan brush and we're going to get all these little grassy things here. There we go. The purple in there, the black, the green, all mixed together. We do need this quite thin so it should be like sort of ink basically. There we go. I'm just going to do some distant things. And we're just going to put a tree in there. This one lives here, there. We could do a fern there. We'll use the end of the fan brush. We'll just do a nice little tree. Let's have this one overhanging into the water. Let's do some big trees over this side. I mean, we can have one. There's one there, and I can live right close. And uh, one here. That's very, very thin paint, remember? Have them crossing over as well. That's already picked up a nice bit of light. Yeah, now you can sort of play with a few sort of highlights here. Go down the side of these with that sort of grey. You can come back and sort of blend that in sort of thing. Dabble some of these out now, and then that'll give you this sort of, just pull that round. Give you that sort of look. Let's go, let's just put that in the water down there. There we go, down here. Pattern down here, do you see these reflections? Let's go somewhere. Let's just change the shape of this just a little bit more. So it feels like it's coming from over there. Pull this colour down, this is where we're gonna pull down, and then we're gonna go across, but not yet. We need that we need that all in the in there. All that colour we need there. All of a sudden it comes down. A little tiny waterfall there. I'm just gonna brighten that up a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna do some. I don't know if to do a little bit of mist there or not. Would look nice, wouldn't it? I might do some mist. But first of all, let's just plan. I'm, I'll do the waterline with with my little fan brush, don't want a lot of paint on this. Instead of the palette knife, I'm just gonna put a little water line around here, in there, especially around sort of this area. We can come back and just do some stuff around here. Let's just go with this color here. It's like a greeny sort of blue. Put some little highlights on. That's a little bit of a different colour going on there. This is like a, a bluish sort of colour going on. Around the bottom of these trees with the brush. I have all these little things living here. grassy areas and stuff here. Anyway, beautiful leaves coming down. Just put a nice little water line that comes down here. Pull some of that out. Westy River Falls. Uh, 312. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the night tonight. Thanks for being with us. Um, there's another painting done. Painted 312. Let's sign this off here. Yeah. There we go. That's tonight's painting. <laughs>